Some breaking news this evening, and Juventus have been deducted 15 points in Syria following an investigation into the club's transfer dealing. Juventus have been docked 10 points with immediate effect in a new ruling by an Italian court investigating the club's transfer. 2021, the year of change in Serie A. The Coppa Italia is theirs for the eighth time in the we all know Juventus as a generally very successful club. They are currently the record holding team with the most Scudettos with 36, 14 Coppa Italia is also a record and they also have two Champions League as well. However, in recent months and past years, things haven't been going the best for Juventus. This season, they didn't even participate in the Champions League and next season, they'll be playing in the Conference League. So the big question, what happened? to Juventus. It all started back in the 2020-21 season. Things were going pretty good for Juventus. The season before, they had won the Serie A as expected. And at the time, they had one of the best squads in the world, some of the best players in the world. Players such as Szczesny, Chiellini, De Ligt, Quadrado, Alexandro, Cristiano Ronaldo, Dybala, Kulusevski. The list goes on and on and on. The depth of quality this team had was mental and they also had a new young exciting manager in club legend Andrea Pirlo. Things were looking pretty good for Juve and things were looking like they would go as expected with a 3-0 win against Sampdoria in the opening game of the season. However, in their next four games they picked up three draws and were outside the top four and this was the start, the downfall of Juventus. Juventus were consistently in fourth and third throughout the whole season so there was still a slight slight chance they could win the Serie A title and maybe things would work out like they should. But the turning point was at match week 35, Juve versus AC Milan in Turin. Juventus got embarrassed 3-0 with goals from Brahim Diaz, Ante Rebic, and Fikayo Tomori. Juve ended the season in fourth, and although it was in the Champions League position, fourth is nowhere near enough for Juventus. And this was the start of a huge, huge downfall. Juventus came into the new season looking to turn things around and they made massive changes in order to do so. The first big thing is that club legend Andrea Pirlo was sacked as manager and inevitably he had done a poor job. Putting Juventus in fourth place with the quality they had was completely unacceptable. They brought back former manager Maurizio Sarri in hopes that they could finally win the Serie A title and they still had the quality to do so. Not many of their players had left. As a matter of fact, at this stage, you would have still expected Juve to compete for the Serie A. But then they were hit with a bombshell. Manchester United have signed Cristiano Ronaldo. It has been confirmed that they have agreed a deal with Juventus. Cristiano Ronaldo had wanted to leave Juventus. He ended up going to Manchester United and that caused problems. Cristiano Ronaldo was Juventus' top scorer for the past couple of seasons. Juve were winless in their first five games and by the fourth match day, they were in the relegation zone. It was things unheard of for Juventus supporters. Juventus were struggling mid-table and they couldn't even beat teams such as Venezia, Sassuolo, Hellas Verona and even Empoli. Note, some of these teams were facing a relegation dogfight during this season in Serie A. But then Juve made another huge signing from Fiorentina. The big man himself, Dusan Vlahovic. Things had turned around for them. They were winning game after game after game and had pushed themselves back into a Champions League spot and ended the season in the fourth position. But most importantly, Juve had a chance to spur their comeback in the final of the Coppa Italia against Internazionale, the previous league winners from the season before. Still Barella, he can strike it from there! What a wonderful start for Inter! Juve go down 1-0 early. Nicola Barella in the seventh minute put Inter ahead. Hey, Alexandro thumps it and Handanovic with a howler. Redemption for Alexandro in the Coppa Italia. Dybala has released Dusan Vlahovic. Wonderful drop of the shoulder and he buries it on the rebound. However, two goals in two minutes from Alexandro and Vlahovic put Juve back in front. Dumfries with the ball in, and there's Perisic, and now Lautaro Martinez, that's a penalty.
It is Chalanolu! And it's wonderfully converted! But in the 80th minute, Hakan Chalanolu scores a pen to send Inter back level and send the game to extra time. East across. And now it's Dumfries. De Vrij goes down. Penalty to Inter. Up steps Perisic. Di Marco. Perisic. Oh my word! Yeah, is theirs for the eighth time in their history. And in the end, Perisic puts two past Juve to win Inter the Coppa Italia. And for the first season in a long while, Juventus were trophyless. For this season, based on the past two seasons, things were not looking good for Juventus. Juventus made poor signings, injury-prone aging players such as Di Maria and Pogba. Players like Chiellini and De Ligt, who were the spine of the Juventus backline left and things looked like they were going to completely crash and burn for Juve. As expected, Juve started the season off poorly. They were fighting in the mid-table and they were struggling to even get a European spot. But then they managed to push up to second place with Juventus into the Champions League spot. I think they were looking solid. Maybe they'd get Champions League football again. This was when turmoil struck. They were knocked out of the Champions League, finishing third place in their group of Benfica and PSG, finishing above them. And the worst part of all, Juve were docked 15 points from UEFA. They were accused of multiple capital gain violations and it dropped them all the way down for 10th. And now Juve fighting for their lives to even get European football. In the three games in the week span of this turmoil, Juve lost 5-1 to Napoli, drew 3-3 to Atalanta and lost 2-0 to Monza and were heading in a downwards trajectory. Then luck came their way. Juventus's 15 points penalty imposed after charges of false accounting has been suspended. In late April, following a review, Juve were given back the 15 points that they had been deducted in January for capital gain violations. This put them in third place and Juve looked like they were going to get Champions League football again because that was the standard now set from the past two seasons. But then during match day 35, disaster struck once more. This time they were docked 10 points for the same violation and although this decision is subject to appeal, Juve ended up finished seventh and will be playing in the Conference League next season. So now the big question, what's next for Juve? Some big European clubs are looking to battle it out for Italian talent Federico Chiesa and to be honest he's a solid player and shouldn't be playing conference league football. And unless they get a big rebuild this turmoil is set to continue. If you want to hear a story about another team coming on the other side of turmoil click here to watch it and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.